hello guys and welcome back so in this video what we want to do is to have a check if the user is leaving the game screen we'll show him a warning message that uh, this will end the game so he must choose if he would like to stay in the screen or he wants to remain so for example if i just let's start a new game here and then let's just play okay so here if we are just playing so if you notice here if the user just presses back it will just go back okay and then also even this back button it will just go back if i do something like this okay and then stockfish is still running and then if we play here we are going to start a new game okay so that back button we don't want to come here we want to go direct to the home screen to restart the process again and then we also want to stop stockfish and then if we are playing with a friend we want to end the game so meaning you have lost you can't leave uh, the online game you need to play it within that time okay and then also we need to notify the other friend that uh, this current user has left and then he has won okay so I hope you get the concept so let's go on ahead and do that so first of all let's uh, let's stop it because we know stockfish is running in the background if we check the logs if so you can see all this it's it's running so let's stop it first we want to make sure if we play, press the back button we can uh, we can run i mean we can uh, we can cancel even stockfish okay so let's go ahead and uh, see how we can fix that so let's minimize this and then all that should happen into the game screen so let's go in the game screen and then in here you can see that uh, we are wrapping this with a consumer And then what we can do is we can go up here first of all let's uh, remove this back arrow okay so this one we can remove oh for now let's just comment it all right and then you can see that this is retaining a scaffold so let's wrap this scaffold with a widget called will pop so i'm putting the case here then just come here then wrap with the widget and then let's change this to uh, will pop this widget so it's called uh, will pop scope so this which it has retained the child which is a scaffold and then if we hover over it you can see that it has a child uh, which is this is a scaffold which is a widget child and then it has this required the on will pop okay so we're just going to call that on will pop so this one is a function it has is it's going to be asynchronous async and then we return that function so in here now we are going to check uh, what happens if this has popped or what so this is where we first uh, where we return our dialog if this has popped or he, the user has pressed the back button or the back arrow then we can show this dialog okay let's move this a bit so here we can for now we can say return uh, force okay so like this we can test it it can work and then since it won't pop then it, it, it will just return the force so so now let's create the dialog to show here if this is true okay if the user has pressed yes on that dialog this will return true if no it will return false and then it it won't will still remain in the on in this screen okay 
so let's see where we can create that dialog what we can do is here let's create uh, we can make this a local variab variable so let's say what are we going to name this dialog we can say uh, show exit uh, maybe exit confirm dialog uh, exit confirm dialog maybe like this show exit confirm dialog yeah I think it's fine like this and then let's take this context just like this and then let's just hover in front here and then let's create this method okay so this method let's make it a future method what we can do is uh, we don't want to create a class like this so let's cancel that we want to create a method where is that so like this not a class let's create a method okay so like this so let's return a boolean here which also can be now okay because sometimes it, they cannot press yes they cannot take it, it uh, the user may not even press the back button okay so here it's going to be a future and then let's add the boo which is nullable okay because sometimes like i've just said the user may not press that back button okay so now here let's just return the show our dialog so we say show dialog and then this show dialog let's let's take it a boolean okay and then now we let's just bring it down here and then here we say context and then let's just return the alert dialog now alert dialog okay so for the title what can we give it here so let's say title we can say so this is in the text widget and then here we can say leave game maybe something like this uh, leave game like it's a question and then the subtitle I mean we call it a content so for the content now we have to ask you are you sure are you sure to leave the game think we can say something like that so let's say are you sure to leave game to leave this game maybe something like that or we can say do you want to return to main screen but uh, I think this is fine and then what else uh, let's just take the actions for now we don't need a lot of things in this dialogue we can just close it here so for the actions First, we can start with a cancel button. So let's say text button. So on pressed. So this is the cancel, which means we are not sure. Okay. What we can do here, if we are not sure, we will just say navigator. Navigator dot pop and then here actually with this one we need to say navigator dot of context dot pop sorry dot pop and then let's do force meaning here we are going to return force we are not sure we are cancelling and then for the child let's have a text widget this one we we'll just say cancel okay and then that's it so let's just have a
constant keyword here constant keyword here constant keyword here and then we just copy this action and do another one we copy and paste this one is going to be yes and then here we're just going to say true okay so just like this this will be our dialogue maybe let's also say it as asynchronous here yeah because it's a future it needs to be asynchronous so that this would be our dialogue and then now up back up here where is uh, th this dialogue here so this one let's it's going to retain a bool which is uh, let's just name it as uh, leave something like this so this since this is a future so we need to await here okay so why are we having an error let's see so this one it says that a value of now which can be nullable so which means we need to have add the question mark here okay so now we we've gotten this and then now down here we just need to check okay so it's either we get this leave or it's going to be a force okay so that's how we check here if we press the back button this will be called and then it's going to await for our answer here if we say yes it's a true it's going to pop and then if we say cancel is going to just remove the dialogue and stay in that screen okay so i hope i wasn't too quick here let's restart our application and test this so i'm just gonna go back here and run it again okay the application has started let's see how it works so let's start let's go to five minutes let's start the game okay now let's not let st stockfish run so let's just go ahead and press this back button so you see now it's asking us okay are you sure you want to leave the game okay so maybe the other thing we can do is maybe to move these words on the center so if we do cancel we remain in the screen let's place it again if we do yes just going to the previous screen okay so this is also we don't want this we don't want to come to this screen we want to go to the home screen and also if you have noticed if we come back let's just start again our back arrow is black if we want to change the color of this we just need to put the leading here okay or we can just change the entire theme of the app and then change all the colors depending on the theme but we are just gonna we're not going to do that for now let's just work with this okay so now even if i press this back button we are being asked so let's cancel and then let's go back here we can do some alignment here so let's do text align text alignment dot center let's copy this and paste it here so we can restart okay it won't restart because of the stock fish so let's stop it and run it again the application has started let's test it again so now if we press here the text is centered 
now let's deal with uh, if we click yes we don't want it to come here we want it to come to the to go to the home screen so for that we just have to go to up here where we are receiving this bullion here so before we do this let's have a check so here let's check if leave is not equal to now and is leave okay like this here we will navigate to the home screen okay so if leave is not equal to now and and it's not false is leave it's true then we will navigate to home screen okay so let's let's just put the comment if the if the user confirms if the user confirms navigate to home screen like this so we are, we want to remove all these routes and go direct to home screen so what to do that we say navigator dot push so we we will use this one push named push named and remove until and then here we are going to say constants dot home screen like this okay then we close it out like that and then now down here we just need to return force which means he has cancelled so this thing is telling us that we cannot run this across asynchronous gaps okay so all we have to do here is just to add an await keyword await future dot delayed constant of duration and then let's wait like we want this to happen just very fast we can say milliseconds then maybe 200 dot when completed then now we can navigate okay we cut and then put it inside here and then the error is gone so that's how we go to the home screen so let's stop it and run it again the application has started let's test so let's go back let's see if we click yes if we go back to the home screen great this is what we want now the next thing is here we are only going to the home screen okay what we want to do also is to stop stockfish okay so just here before we do this we are just going to say if uh, stockfish does not equal to now once you click yes okay if stockfish does not equal to now okay so it's saying that it will always be now here is always true so what we can do here is just to stop stockfish stockfish dot stop stockfish std and then let's call the uci command to stop the stockfish like this okay so here before we come out of the screen we can stop stockfish now so let's let's test this and see if we won't get an error let's stop it and run it again okay it has started so let's see let's start playing and maybe open up the logs 
and then now let's go back okay we didn't get any error looks like before this happened and looks like we have stopped stockfish okay let's see if we can hot restart so if we can hot restart then stop stockfish was stopped okay okay great so now we are able to stock stop stockfish when the game is finished when we are leaving the screen and also when uh, whoever wins we are stopping stockfish we are bringing up the dialogue now the next thing to do is start working is uh, playing versus user we are we have done almost all the features here in playing versus the computer next now in the next videos we are going to start working in playing versus the user we have to connect the application to firebase and then also start adding the user to firebase do the authentication process and then start playing the game versus a human thank you guys and thank you so much for joining this course i really appreciate a lot and i would really also love if you can rate this course thank you guys like once again and see you in the next video